So hello guys, it's been a long time that this channel haven't uploaded any new video So today, we're gonna show you how you can actually burn a bootloader for your Atmega 328P chip So it's a chip that's basically used on the most common Arduino like the Arduino Nano, Arduino Uno I think also Arduino Mega too, but I'm not so sure So uh, there's an actual tutorial show on the uh, official Arduino website you might want to check the link with down in the description you want to check it out maybe it's the original source maybe it's better than this but I don't know so here's the layout of our uh, isolated chip the 3 the 328p so uh, this is a video of me pre-recording showing off show, showing off my chip and the label is very Stylus. So uh, some label out there might be different, but I'm sure the function are the same. So you're gonna need a 222 picofarad ceramic capacitor and also a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator and a 10 ki uh, 10 kilo ohms resistors and also a breadboard and also a chip and also Arduino. No matter what, it's Mega, Uno, Nano, just don't care. As long as they have the same chip with the chip that you want to burn so uh, I'm having a nano right now the chip that I have on both sides are the same you know 28 pin they are both the same so now I'm gonna put the crystal oscillator and you might want to see this layout again so um, basically it's on the pin number 9 and pin number 10 so now what we're we gonna do yes I'm gonna count it 1 2 3 4 5 until uh, the pin number 9 and pin number 10 so now I'm actually counting my counting skill is very good at that time it's really good and there's an ant on my breadboard so I'm gonna put it away so after I connect my uh, crystal oscillator I want to put some uh, capacitor here and you might want to see this because it's very very uh, narrow in there so you might want to follow this connection type and I'm gonna put my capacitor inside like oh come on get in yes yes yeah there we go so you want to connect it to the ground one side on the pin number nine and another one on the ground and another capacitor uh, that the, its right side is on the number 10 and another one to the ground which is number eight and oh my god just get in okay so now the capacitors are in place and uh, I just want to show you where the pin number eight is and pin number 8 is for the ground in this case so yes so um the next thing i want to do is to put my 10 kilo ohm resistors so uh just pull it along with your pin number one and uh this is the first try that i'm trying to do this so if i'm doing anything wrong please don't mind so uh, okay back to our topic so i'm gonna connect the upper terminal uh the, the positive and negative terminal to connect it with the positive and negative terminal on the down the, the down part of the board i mean just you know the base you know the idea right just connect make sure they are connected to each other so that they can give the power to the whole board yes so um the next thing I want to do is to put some uh, wires to connect the RX and TX. So you basically want just want to connect your RX from your Arduino to the RX of the chip and TX of the Arduino to the TX of the chip. So I want to show you this diagram. The RX is at pin number 2 and the TX is on pin number 3. So we're going to use those two pins to connect so uh, actually I already connect my RX and now I'm doing it with my TX which is a yellow wire and I put it on the pin number three so RX to RX TX to TX don't confuse how can you confuse and why there's an X in there I don't know so the next thing you want to do is power up the chip so you need 5 volts and you can draw that from your uh, Arduino self so and then I'm gonna grab some wires here so I have this red wire just plug it to the side of the board and uh, another one just plug it into the plus 5 volt there I don't know if you can see but it's actually labeled there it's 5 volt or plus 5 volt yes so after doing that the power run around the board it doesn't connect to the board yet so the next thing you need to do is to connect your ground from your board to the negative terminal of each side of your breadboard 
so right there so uh, after you do that the chip is not yet powered because why because I didn't connect anything into it so now I'm just gonna grab some wires and I'm running out of wires so I'm gonna use some different color rather than you know red and black it's it's it just is too too the same so it just like something the same same shit same thing and uh, we actually want to power it so using the VCC from the pin number 7 and uh, or pin number 20 and also the ground so there's two ground there's two VCC you can use either of them it you, the, the chip doesn't care at all so now I'm going to plug in my 5 volt and ground uh, and draw it from the side of the breadboard now I'm going to plug in my Arduino to my computer and just line up your uh, Arduino IDE go to file and example and select Arduino ISP and you also want to go to tools select your port make sure you are on the right port serial port and the next thing you want to do is to select your programmer as Arduino as ISP not Arduino ISP don't confuse and then you're just going to head to tool again and click the burn bootloader and there's a message terminal down there it says burning bootloader this may take some few minutes may take a few minutes and after done it will say done burning bootloader so that's all folks thanks everyone for watching so uh, if you think this video is helpful don't forget to click like on this video and if you want to actually know how you can upload your code into this chip isolated chip you might want to check my next video in this channel thank you for watching goodbye